The boats are still coming, but in fewer numbers. For those who reach the shores of Britain, it can mean a better life. Rishan was 17 years old when she came to the UK illegally from war-torn Eritrea. She hid in the back of a lorry. And last month, she became a British citizen and is now training to be a nurse. Being here, like, is not, we're not just sitting. We are part of the community. We are contributing to the society. Lots of young people, they want to do something. They want to go, they want to get the education. They want to do, they want to work. They want to support their family. They want to support people around them. And as that's the thing that needs to be, like, other people to need to understand. Labour say they've now inherited a chaotic immigration system, whilst the Conservatives take credit for the reducing numbers. But it was the protests in the wake of the Southport killings that revealed deep-seated anger around immigration. This hotel in Rotherham, housing asylum seekers, was targeted. The violence that broke out here took police by surprise. Some people even tried to set the hotel on fire. The protest that started here was quickly hijacked by extremists. But the fear that some people have around here about asylum seekers and the impact they have on their community well, that fear hasn't gone away. Shannon's a mum of four and lives here in Rotherham. The protest itself, I agreed with, but when it turned violent, that I don't agree with. But she is concerned about levels of immigration here. We can see through the statistics that the numbers of people crossing the channel on small boats is reducing. Does that give yeah. you any cause for relief? It's reassuring that it's slowing down. The men are our concerns. Not families, not children, the men. I'm not fearful, it's more of the unknown, not knowing why they're here, not knowing what they're doing here, who they are. There's no background check on them. And as a community, we, d just, we don't know them to welcome them. The boat crossings might be falling, but the political pressure is increasing. For the first time in eight years, an Ipsos poll reveals that immigration is now the most important issue for the country. Nick Martin, Sky News, Rotherham.